it's the moment we've been waiting for. The hints are over. The guesses have got to come to an end. It's time to reveal CNBC's best state for business 2017. Let's go to Scott Cohn, who's in the winning state. I want to see the question marks go away on the top left of that screen. Scott, please tell us who it is. <laughs> I will, they will go away momentarily. You know, as, as we keep saying, we've been doing this for 11 years and doing it a certain way. We thought we'd do it a little bit differently this year. And rather than me tell you the top state for business, we thought we would hear from some of this state's most famous faces. And the winner is Washington State. Men and women of Washington State, you are now number one for business. We got Bill Gates, we got Jeff Bezos, we got me, what else could you need? Professional sports, a great theater, great coffee, rain, rain, little rain. Also the best state to catch a salmon, to get a cup of coffee, to cheer on the Seattle rain, and to be a husky. Here's a little business idea, flannel beard combs, coffee flavored, run with it. Hey, it's Kenny G here saying congratulations to Washington State, where I'm from, for being named America's top state for business. Here's my song, Forever in Love. It's exactly how I feel about the state of Washington. Park in a part of the park aptly named Paradise, not just because it's 5,400 feet above sea level. Washington State is America's top state for business 2017. Let's take a look behind Washington's climb to the top. We search north, south, east, and west, and this year one state soars to the top. Washington, the evergreen state, with 1,621 out of 2,500 points. Always a contender, Washington finished in sixth place last year. The home of Amazon, Boeing, Costco, and Microsoft, Washington's economy is the fastest growing in the nation, the third best overall, according to our study. Jobs are flooding into the state. The housing market is among the healthiest around. Washington also shines in technology and innovation, second only to California in patents last year. A robust, growing economy, smart workers, innovative entrepreneurs, safe communities, and a beautiful natural bounty. But all is not perfect here. Washington is an expensive state, ranking 37th for cost of living and 32nd for cost of doing business. Washington's infrastructure also ranks 32nd. Road quality is poor. Unemployment in Washington is 4.5%. The state has no individual income tax and no corporate tax, just a so-called business and occupations tax that can run as high as nearly 5%. The top state and local sales tax is 10.3%. Washington's largest private employer is Boeing. The largest industry is durable goods manufacturing. Soaring to the highest heights, leaving the rest green with envy. Washington, America's top state for business, 2017. And congratulations to Washington and great thanks to the National Park Service. Where were we yesterday? We were at the Bloedel Reserve and, uh, uh, and in, I'm sorry, in, in uh, Bainbridge Island. <laughs> Uh, also got to sip a little bit of the local grape at the Bainbridge Vineyards. Uh, Bloedel Reserve is beautiful. It's 150 acres. It was uh, created by a, a timber executive, Prentice Bloedel, and uh, really just a gorgeous place. Okay, about those hints, wide open spaces. We were talking about Boeing's factory in Everett, Washington, the largest building in the world in terms of usable volume, 13.3 million cubic miles. Can't get there from here. That was uh, Point Roberts in the northwest part of the state <laughs> is what's known as an exclave. 1,314 people. You can't get there on land without going through Canada. Uh, classic sounds, Puget Sound and the Seattle Sound. A lot of people got that. Buying opportunity, Amazon and Microsoft. We didn't know it was going to be Amazon Prime Day today. And get to the point, the Space Needle and Evergreens in the Evergreen State. 
Jay Inslee is the 23rd governor of the state of Washington in his second term. Mm -hmm. uh, governor, we don't often get the, get the winning governor to come here for the big event. You not only did that, you biked here from Olympia, which is 70 miles away. The, listen, I would never miss a chance to come to Paradise. Yeah. And Paradise, Washington is one of the most beautiful places. John Murr said it was the most luxuriant Alpine Meadows in the world. But I really appreciate you recognizing Washington. It's kind of a paradise to do business. And this is a mark of honor. It's the best thing that happened in our state since we won the Super Bowl. So thank you for honoring us. I got to tell you, I agree with your assessment. When I look at the small business creativity that's going on in our state, it rivals the, uh, the, the prodigious heights of this mountain behind us. So thanks for this honor. It really is an honor. Well, uh, congratulations for it. I mean, there's a lot going on here and a lot of cross currents. I mean, this happened quickly in, yeah. terms, of our, in terms of our ranking. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say oh, it's, it's Amazon. I mean, what's, what is going on here and why is this state Beyond well, I, what you said, a great state. For I business. don't think it's an accident. I think it comes from several pillars of, of business growth that we really are committed to in Washington. Number one is quality of life. Look, there's no better place to live with clean air, clean water, places to hike, places to kayak, places to climb if you want. So when we're recruiting a business, when I talk to CEOs and recruiting, I'm very active on this. They want to come here for a quality of life. So do skilled people. And once we have skilled people, frankly, they don't want to leave. Quality of life is, is really important. Second, uh, really a focus on innovation. If you think about our strength, we're not thinking about last century's companies, we're thinking about next century's as well. So we have a research uh, uh, agenda that has given us the world's largest vanadium flow battery where you can integrate renewable energy. It's given us a new company in Bellevue the other day that does the radar for autonomous vehicles. So we have a system that is dependent on innovation. Let's talk about the tough parts now. You just came through a bruising legislative mm -hmm. session this legislature about as divided as, mm -hmm. as any in the right. country. Uh, you've had to raise some taxes in order mm -hmm. to meet a Supreme Court mandate mm -hmm. in your state yeah. to improve the schools. Mm -hmm. So cost of living is high, you heard that. How do you sustain this in, a, in a, a state where costs are going up and up and up? Seattle talking about a city income tax now. Um, how is this gonna keep going or is this the peak? Well, as you know, uh, we also believe talent is the number one or third pillar of our economic growth. And we know if we grow intellectual talent, that fundamentally intellectual talent is the energy source that is gonna drive the economies of the future. So we are dedicated to giving our kids the highest quality education of all time. We want them to be able to compete. We welcome people from around the world to build these high-tech companies, but frankly, we'd rather have our kids take these high-tech jobs. So we have made major investments this year. It's the largest uh, new improvement in education including in STEM education, science, technology, and engineering math in our state history. It's the right thing to do. And at the same time, there were some property tax increases. There were also decreases to ameliorate some of this so that the state took more of the burden because we want every kid to have quality. We, we don't think your education should depend on what zip code you live in. But you run the risk of growing pains, as we said, this happened fast, of pricing people out of this, uh, this lifestyle. 37th for, for cost of living, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, it's interesting because uh, what the, the most rapidly growing economies of the, of the country all have in common is this challenge, particularly of housing costs. So if you look at San Francisco, Seattle, Boston to some degree, because we have such robust economies, we have 65,000 people who want to grow businesses in the state of Washington. So they're moving here. That obviously creates more demand for housing. Rents have gone up. So we have got to find ways to ameliorate. That means we've got to increase the housing stock. So we've got to find ways, frankly, to have more efficient and dense housing. We have to have more support for housing to attack the homelessness program. And we've got to have smart transportation infrastructure, which can lead to more affordable housing. We just did that. We actually passed the largest infrastructure package in the history of the state, greenest one as well because we want to tackle climate change. We get science in this state. But infrastructure, as we said, another area. We, we got work to do, but it's coming. We passed, you know, in D.C., they're struggling to come up with an infrastructure package. If you want to know how to do it on a bipartisan basis, come to Washington. Even with a divided governor, government, we were able to pass the largest infrastructure transportation package in our state's history. It's dedicated to a whole host of new systems. We are electrifying our, our transportation system to reduce climate change gases. We are building new public light rail like crazy. So uh, help is on the way. All right.
Jay Inslee, the governor of Washington, thank you again. Congratulations on being Thanks America's for the honor. top states for business. You can now find out where your state ranks, all of it, our whole study online right now at topstates.cnbc.com. See where your state stacks up. We want to hear from you what you think. The hashtag is always top states. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.